Hello YouTubers, I want to welcome you to another edition of Bargain Bin Gear. And I'm your host, guitarist Dennis Teeth. And I'm in my home studio B. In other words, my living room. Anyway, last time, as you'll recall, if you haven't been following the channel, you should subscribe so that you can keep up with each video and so on. But last time, in the last episode, I had been swayed to the dark side, which was a Star Wars reference, um, to the TC Electronics Plethora X5. Okay, and uh, remember I had, had been, and still am, uh, an Eventide H9 fanboy, if you like. Where my friends are, are TC Electronics fanboys. But they want me to try the Plethora X5. And I liked it so much that I, I went ahead and ordered one. And thank goodness we have a official unboxing in part two. Which is this video and... The last video was part one. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay. So, I, uh, I just got back from FedEx, um, to pick up the plethora. Now, this has never happened before. I found it very interesting. Um, and probably a good idea, actually. Um, as it turns out, they would offer free shipping on the plethora if you drove out to the FedEx location and picked it up. And luckily for me, mine was just right around the corner, kind of. Close enough, anyway. Uh, that wasn't a big deal. You would just think that through FedEx that they would actually deliver it. But no, this is not what happened. And as an extra security, I had to sign for the item. In this case, the plethora. Now, if anything, I guess it avoids, you know, package thieves. You know, so that, that's a good thing. I was kind of concerned. I mean, there were people eyeballing my plethora. Oh, I didn't like that very much. You know, I kind of had to kind of hide it, hide the package under my sweatshirt. Okay. Anyway, it's arrived. It's here. So let's have an unboxing. And while it may be brief, don't try this at home. Only trained professionals should attempt. So it comes in this nice box here. Right? A package just waiting to be opened. So I'm going to go ahead and open it here. another box in here. Here we go. 
One, two, three. There's the plethora. Comes with an AC adapter right there. Okay, this concludes the unboxing. All right. Now, as if receiving the plethora wasn't exciting enough, because I got it through Sweetwater, they've included a free small bonus. I'd like to point out now. Let's take a look at this. Wow, look at this. Is that awesome or what? That's right, some candy. Wow, look at that. So not only did I score a plethora, but also some candy. Now how exciting is that? <laughs> and... Another thing uh, through Sweetwater is the, the warranty period. I think it's about two years or something. We'll take a look at that too. Awesome. Sadly, soon it's going to be so cold out here um, that I won't be able to make any more videos out here. And I'll be confined to the inside. Know what I mean? All right. Well, okay. Now I have a the plethora here, and I'll show it to you here in a second. So I've been messing with it for a while, and this is actually mine. And uh, set up a couple boards. And this particular one, I have the um, Octaver over here. Two delays, and you'll see the tap tempo on the second one. And it's, it's set up for really fast um, beats per minute, um, 1,224, in fact. And then a looper here. So let's take a listen to that. And um, this is just another uh, example here of the plethora. Right now I've got the delay two delays and a reverb on right now. Um. <laughs> Kind of has a 
the keyboard kind of sound. So let's loop that over a dub. in the first video um, I don't really have all that much to add um, uh, however uh, there are a few things I guess um, the, the boards that it comes with that you know um, you know you can have five effects here on the plethora and um, inside you know you can choose a, a, a 
all kinds of different pedals to fill those five slots and that creates a board and you have 127 different boards um, and it comes with a few that are already kind of preset and I found that those are just kind of okay you know um, at least for my purposes uh, what I discovered is that um, especially for looping and things I, I absolutely love the octaver uh, effect on here it's great for doing kind of it makes it kind of sound uh, almost like a little keyboard part or something like that or you can emulate bass and those kinds of things uh, the other great thing about it is um, you can, out of those five slots, you know, you can fill them with delays and reverbs and things, and then stack them together. In other words, turn two delays on, and it's as if you're running through two delay pedals. You know, um, it's just very simple. Uh, it's the kind of thing that really you can throw in a, a gig bag, you know, um, and it's very simple you know very portable uh for me I, ha I have a large pedal board all kinds of different pedals and things um but sometimes it's just too big you know if you're gonna play like a little coffee house gig or what have you uh the plethora you know if you just want to go um over to a friend's house or whatever uh, um this is a real simple way you know of still getting quite a few sounds out of it, you know, without bringing your entire pedal board. So for that, it's really great. Um, I've run through some of the effects and things, um, and have used the different tone prints and things, and it's really, really worthwhile um, to go through the different tone prints and even to download them, and you can create your own. Um, and I haven't really created my own yet. You have to use the editor and those kinds of things. Um, and I kind of looked at that a little bit. You know, there's there's a lot of tone prints, though. And tone prints are um, kind of different sounds, you know, that uh, that can be made, you know. Uh, for example, a flash back delay is not just a simple delay. You can do all kinds of different type delay-type sounds. Uh, using the tone prints. Anyway, so with the editor and things, it's a lot of fun. It's also, uh, you know, to really hone it down. Now, strangely enough, um, in a way, I got really lucky in that, uh, for me, uh, I was able to create a board that I really like right off the bat. You know, real simple. It just has a, a looper at the end, uh, an octave, and either delays or reverbs or those kinds of things. Um, and I also recently got a little synthesizer pedal, and I'll be doing a video on that. And we'll run that through the effects loop, which would be quite interesting as well. And I haven't, haven't done that yet. So, Plethora, uh, was it worth it? Um, for me, most definitely. Uh, I did go ahead and put the put the Hall of Fame 2 reverb pedal up for sale. Um, I'm not sure if anyone will buy it. Uh, it's also really, really nice, you know, for doing reverb sounds and things. Um, and I found that this pedal actually has a really great sound, you know. Um, even though the plethora also has the Hall of Fame 2 reverb, um, it's a little, little different than this one. In the sense, and I think that has to do with the uh, analog uh, path that this Hall of Fame 2 uh, reverb pedal does. Anyway, so we'll see. Uh, if I do sell it, that's fine. If I don't, um, I'm perfectly happy to keep it because it's pretty darn good pedal too. Um, so, you know, since I just got it really, you know, um, very happy with it. I've been creating, you know, a couple boards here and there. I haven't really gotten too deeply into it. I just haven't had time. Um, and it will take some time to do, you know. Uh, 
I've tried out different settings and things. Um, very interesting. Uh, there's also the um, phaser and vibe pedals in there, and the I haven't really dug into those too much. Um, the compressor I found is really good, you know. Like most compressors, you know, if it um, boosts the signal too much, it gets kind of noisy. But I guess, you know, if you were to use that, there's a noise gate built in as well, which is nice. Um, then there's a harmony pedal. Um, and that one, um, you know, it's nice that it's there, but I mean, it's something I probably use um, pretty sparingly. You know, um, now we will see if there will be another update for the plethora or not. And I, I hope there will be, you know. Uh, last time it took about a year to get a really big major update, and we're coming on about a year since the last update. So maybe it won't be too much longer that there'll be another update. I don't know, we'll see. Um, even if it doesn't have an update, it's still, you know, definitely worthwhile. Uh, highly recommended. You know, um, and man, it's, it really is nice. I mean, it's, the sound quality is very good. Um, there's nothing bad to say about it. Uh, but I have to admit the, uh, online editor and someone's, you know, not, not, not really the greatness. It's kind of uh, a little um, confusing, a little complicated, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, but eventually messing around, you can usually get to what you want to try. How, you know, and it's definitely a different concept than, say, the Eventide H9, you know. Uh, just the way they approach uh, the pedal and creating presets and those kinds of things. Um, still very, very nice. Uh, uh, definitely quickly becoming one of my favorite pedals, along with the Eventide H9, which I really like. And man, when you combine the two, it's kind of crazy. Uh, Pat, we can do that right now. So I have it hooked up. Um, I'll turn on a, uh, a patch that's kind of a ping pong delay just from the Eventide H9 and then we'll go take that into the plethora and let's hear what that sounds like um oh let me see actually uh okay I think we're gonna go into the plethora then the H9 let's try that just so we can combine the two and see what we get I have no idea what it will be like, but, um... Okay, that's just a plethora there.
Einstein. Sets and things. Anyway, that's just to show that uh, the H9 
works great in conjunction with the plethora. Uh, in fact, any pedals that you have, it really integrates well. So if you have a bigger pedal board, an existing pedal board, it's really easy to add, you know, and get different sounds. Um, and I, what I plan to do is, uh, over the kind of the Christmas holidays, um, is uh, spend time creating uh, boards and presets and things and, and really learning my way around the Plethora X5 a little better uh, but also in creating sounds for it and two different ones uh, one uh, creating sounds for it when I use it by itself and then two creating sounds um, that integrate with my larger pedal board including the H9 pedals and things you know, and I've got a MIDI controller, and so it can control the Plethora X5 and all the other pedals. So, um, I can't highly uh, recommend the Plethora X5 enough, you know, it's really great. Um, I really hope that they continue to update it. Uh, it'd be a real shame if they just kind of abandon it. Um, you know. And hopefully they'll add some more pedal sounds and those kinds of things. And updates and bug fixes, what have you. Um, it's still it's very solid as it is, I've discovered. You know, no problems there either. And the sounds, you know, they go from really basic to kind of mind-boggling, really, you know. Um, so there you go. Um very very interesting pedal and i love the fact that you can use it by itself or integrate it into your larger pedal board right it's kind of a you can use it for either or both you know um depending on you know what situation arises and things uh all right so there you go that's the TC Electronics Plethora X5, I'm definitely sold on it. Um, no regrets whatsoever, it's, it's great. It's really a great pedal. Um, and man, when you combine, you know, with an H9, or sky's the limit there, for sure. Alright, very good. See you next time. Okay, bye.